نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الکریم اما بعد فاعوز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قالا ربی شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العبدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی صدق اللہ العظیم Today we will discuss the story of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and the verses that has been recited in front of you are the verse number 25, 26, 27, and 28 of Surah Taha, chapter number 20, and that we also recite all the time. That, that was a prayer of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him when he was granted the messengership of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the first thing he asked from his Lord after granting the messengership. So after the death of Prophet Joseph, peace be upon him, the children of Israel were in Egypt still and due to the Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, respect and honesty and hard work in the state of Egypt in olden days they had a lot of respect and everybody knew that they are children of prophets and they are pious people and they are honest people but soon Kiptis the natives of Egypt they took over the country and Pharaoh, you know, Pharaoh is considered the king of Egypt in olden days. He was the leader of those Kiptis and the kingship started and Pharaoh of Egypt made children of Israel as their slave. And they used, the Kiptis and Pharaoh used to make children of Israel work for them and had made them their slaves because they knew that they are not actual Egyptians. They are from Canaan, a suburb of Palestine. So they migrated and we are the natives. So we are supreme and we are higher in authority and we should be higher in respect as well because we are the natives. So the Pharaoh of Egypt that time he saw a dream that his kingdom which is full of cruelty and unjust laws is will finish with a child born in the children of Israel. So he saw a dream or one of his palmists guided him that one child will be born in the ch children of Israel and on the hands of that child your kingdom will finish. So Pharaoh as he was so much scared by that dream or by that forecast so he ordered all the officials of the government any child is child is born in Israel who is a male slaughter them and the girls let them let them stay alive so they can work as a servant for Pharaoh and the nation of Pharaoh. So the order was passed and the police and all the government officials start following the orders. Then later they realized that if they kill all the boys then who will do the hard work for them because girls they will make them as their mistresses or servants but there's hard work need to be done so they need male servants as well so so the pharaoh passed the law that 
one year we will kill all the boys second year we will spare them third year we will kill all the boys again and fourth year we'll spare so they started creating a gap of one year in killing the boys but they always kept the girls alive because they knew girls are not harmful to them only the boy so they were looking to kill the boy who will harm the kingdom of pharaoh as it was full of cruelty so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always does whatever he wants to do so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave birth to prophet moses peace be upon him in the house of imran imran is the name that is quoted as if for the father of prophet moses peace be upon him and the mother of prophet moses peace be upon him was able to hide her pregnancy and also her delivery from the officials of pharaoh and she gave birth to prophet moses peace be upon him and nobody knew about it and and after some time passed you know she has gotten fear that officials of pharaoh or police will catch her son and slaughter him so allah subhanahu wa taala through revelation revealed on her that put prophet moses peace be upon him in a chest and float him through the river nile so then the enemy of prophet moses and god will lift him up that's how allah subhanahu wa taala made a plan to rescue prophet moses peace be upon him from the fear of pharaoh and his officials so the mother of prophet moses peace be upon him she she hid prophet moses peace be upon him and put him in a chest and cover the chest and float the chest in river nile and told the sister of prophet moses peace be upon him to follow that wherever this chest go just keep on following and make sure nobody knows about it that you are following so the the sister of prophet moses followed the orders of her mother the chest keep on floating on the water till the time it hit the stairs of the palace for pharaoh and fortunately pharaoh and his wife asia that's the name came that pharaoh and his wife asia they were walking by the nile and they saw something is approaching in the water towards them so it was quite unusual usually in river nile you will see fishes or other things but never you will see a chest floating on the water so she saw and then he saw then pharaoh ordered one of the servant to to bring what is floating on top of the water so they brought the chest to pharaoh and lady asia so when they opened the chest they saw there is a cute little boy in the chest so pharaoh ordered that this look like son of one of the son of children of israel so we have to slaughter him because it could be harm to his kingdom as per the law and the dream pharaoh saw but lady asia she convinced pharaoh that look at the boy he is so cute and so beautiful and why not we make him our son and 
he can he can live with us and look at him he is so cute so allah subhanahu wa taala put the love of prophet moses peace be upon him in the heart of lady asia and lady asia couldn't resist and she did not let them kill prophet moses peace be upon him and prophet moses peace be upon him started living in the palace with lady asia pharaoh and all the other dignitaries of the palace so after bringing her in the palace and allah subhanahu wa taala rescued prophet moses from the evil doing of pharaoh there was a problem of giving milk to the child as he was a newborn child and the only source of survival for a newborn child is the milk so it was ordered that which which ladies are available to feed the child so they ask multiple ladies to breastfeed prophet moses peace be upon him but prophet moses peace be upon him refused to drink milk from those ladies you know so so then lady asia got worried and all the dignitaries in the palace were also worried then approaches the sister of prophet moses peace be upon him she approached to the palace and she heard some ladies talking about it that there is a child who came in the palace but not accepting milk from any lady i don't know how will the child survive i i think he will die so the sister of prophet moses peace be upon him approached to that lady and to- told that i think i know one lady she is very good and i believe the child will accept her milk so that the, that request that was made by the sister of prophet moses peace be upon him was delivered to the queen asia lady asia and she accepted it she said okay bring me that person who can feed this child so then the then the sister ran and brought the mother of prophet moses peace be upon him to the palace and when the mother of prophet moses peace be upon him fed prophet moses peace be upon him prophet moses definitely accepted the milk of her own mother as he knew and he recognizes that that's her original mother so everybody was shocked that this child was not accepting anybody's milk but he accepted the milk of this lady so pharaoh doubted that it could be possible that that's his original mother so he asked that is this child belongs to you the mother of prophet moses peace be upon him said no but the children all the children accept my milk because i am a clean and clean and decent lady so that's the reason all the children accept my milk so the pharaoh and lady asia become happy and they they fixed a monthly stipend for the mother of prophet moses peace be upon him in service that she will feed prophet moses peace be upon him till the time he needs it so this way allah subhanahu wa taala made the heart of prophet moses mother comfort and relax her from the stress of that her own son will be slaughtered in front of her so it is a very painful thing and it was a very painful time for the children of israel that all their male children were slaughtered and the ladies and the female children 
are kept as a slave 